Hey buddy, it's Crazy Guitar and Four, and welcome back to some more Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. In the last episode, we went through level six, Orange Ocean, and it was just annoying as heck to get through Orange Ocean. Mainly the first two levels in Orange Ocean no, stages, sorry. The first two stages in Orange Ocean, it was unbelievably terrible. Um, I did not have a good time with those two. But luckily, the rest of it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't all that half bad. Uh, Meta Knight wasn't too bad of a boss. Did die on him once, but it was alright. But in this episode, we'll be going through level 7, Rainbow Resort. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, now for this one, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get laser. Only because I kinda wanna, you know, do the whole zigzag thing. It's- it's fun. I did not expect that to actually work. Okay, so um... Oh my gosh, I can like kill everyone. That's just, this is amazing. Laser kind of OP. That was dope. Okay, you can't even lie. That was kind of dope. I like circled around. I kind of like that. Now I'm pretty sure I know exactly how to uh, get these. Get this next uh, secret switch because there is one in this level. Um, this one I remember is not all that bad. I think. Wait, do I need Waddle D or Waddle Do? Sorry, I might actually need um. Uh, what's it called? Beam. Sunny tells me I do. In case I do, I'ma just get it. Cause I don't know if I will need it, but you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Uh, so that's where I have to go. I have to break those blue blocks up there. Can you not? That'd be great. Okay, just go through here. Kill these three guys. And then just do this. Oh, I probably need burning! Cause I don't think I can actually, um... Can I actually even... Wait, hold up, hold up, I have an idea, I have an idea. Watch this, big brain, this is gonna be big brain strats. Okay, never mind, it's not gonna work. <laughs> no, there's definitely a way to do this. How am I messing up on this? Okay, maybe if I just go to the other side. Let's try that. Wow, even that's not gonna hit? Um... Okay, this is actually much, much more difficult than I anticipated it to be. Uh, okay. Let's try it again. Let's get Beam. Get out of here. Come on, Beam. Get over here. Perfect. Maybe I should just get Sword. Sword is honestly probably gonna be a much better idea. Let's do that. Let's get Sword, because I think Sword... ...is not an ability. Okay. That sword is an ability in this room. Apparently not. It was in the previous room, wasn't it? It definitely was. Now that I think about it, oh my gosh. You kidding me, right? Okay. So this is actually gonna be uh, much more annoying than I really, you know, than I would have liked it to be. But I guess what can you do? So those could, those bars can be breaked pretty easily. Um, they can, I think, just like a simple dive or like a slide can actually break them. Now you die, perfect. Um, this guy is gonna be really annoying. Freaking Waddle Dees. I don't know why you're, why you're trying to make my life more difficult. How is this even possible? There's no way this is possible, right? With a beam. Okay, I finally did something. Okay, wait. I can just do this. No, no, come on, come on. I did this before. If I did it before, I can do it again. Nah, screw it. I'm not using freaking beam. Beam is o beam is obviously worthless. I can't do this with beam. I can't. I'm gonna go like I'm gonna like spark or something. Spark is gonna be a much better idea. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Actually, will spark work? I guess it's worth a shot, right? I'm a little worried it won't work, but like, heck, you might as well see, right? Oh yeah, it works so much better. But now I'm gonna have to get burning. So, it doesn't matter. I, I got those blocks defeated, I got those blocks broken, and that's a true. I'm about to die, by the way, so that's fantastic. Alright, just get through here. Gosh, all that work for just a secret switch. 
Goodness me, that was honestly so annoying. I did not expect these to be, like, annoying. <laughs> I did not expect this one to be nearly as annoying as it was. But it was annoying. Okay, I'm not gonna lose it immediately. That's gonna be stupid. I'm just gonna go through. There's no reason to, like, actually, you know, worry about these enemies. Keep sword. Just, just fly over everyone. Perfect, see? Easy. Easy. The secret switch may not have been <laughs> easy exactly, but, uh... Still did it. That's what matters. Ooh, Rainbow Resort has some nice music. Okay, I like this. Let's do it. Level 2. Alright, Bomb Rally back at it again. Hopefully I can actually do a little better this time. It's just a matter of keeping your eyes peeled and not being stupid at the game. Just time everything right. Yo, chill out! Thank you, okay. I'm really glad I was actually able to kill him. Or one was able to die. I didn't actually kill him, it was red. Nice, okay, that's yellow. So I'm at least gonna get two one-ups. That's good. Nope, I don't think so, Chief. Freaking do I hate this. I hate this, I can't, I can't get... Once it gets past level one, I cannot get the last guy. It gets so stinking fast and honestly unbelievable. So let's just do level two. Oh, I remember this. this is the this is the um the arena room. This is where you just fight a bunch of uh, it's a it's a mini boss rush. Uh, there are two rooms to go through. You can go through this one or you can go through this secret one right up here. I'm gonna go through this one because the secret one is uh, definitely more difficult, and in turn, it's really annoying. Because if you're like me, I'm not exactly the best at Nightmare in Dreamland. If this was like, I don't know, Return to Dreamland, I'd be down to go for the harder route. But like, this is Nightmare in Dreamland we're talking about. I'm not exactly, you know, all that nice in this game, sadly. I well, did a good amount, like one hit will probably kill. Ouch. Your little ring, there we go. TikTok on the clock. The party don't stop. Alright, Mike, let's do it. I'm liking Mike. Mike's good. Um, hey, Mr. Frosty, how's it going? You're gonna die, by the way. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Very cool. And that's gonna give me what? Freeze. Oh, a freeze might actually be pretty nice. Hey, no, no pun intended. Hello, bonkers. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get bonkers, that's for sure. Look at that. Easy money. I bomb Hammer is gonna probably be really nice for this. Yeah. I love- oh my gosh, it's this son of a gun. I hate fan fans so much. I hate, really hate this guy. Ugh. Nice, okay. I'm gonna keep hammer, because this guy's gonna give me what? Like, backdrop? I think it's backdrop. Pretty sure that's the one that fan fan gives you. Bugsy gives you throw. Neither of these are gonna be useful for the- for this boss rush. And I'm just telling this right now. When I mean neither of them, I mean neither of them. Oh okay, yeah, get your boys out. Dang it! I can't even hit him. I'll get him. Stop, 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 stop. Wow, really? Okay, well this sucks. Kind of a lot. Because now I don't have any good abilities to fight uh, Bugsy with. And in turn, I don't have any good abilities to fight anyone else with. I'm gonna have to rely on throw. Because that's amazing. Because throw is very, very good for bosses. Oh, and even better, it's backdrop. The worst version. Oh, joy. Okay, you know, is it even worth it? I don't think so. I'm just gonna use stars. How did he grab me? What? I'm at one hit point. That's fantastic. I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, good, good. <gasps> I hate how it just like bounces out of the way. I'm not even gonna risk that, no. Chill over here. Yo, chill out! Why are you getting this so close? I'm dead, I'm freaking dead. Dang it, that sucks. Do I have to restart the whole thing? No, I have to restart from Twin Fire from Fire Lion. Okay, that's uh, honestly not that bad. I'm basically in the same exact situation I was in like previously, so it's honestly not even that bad. 
So now I have more health, which is uh, definitely better. Come on. Oh, you stupid freaking fire dash. Stop it with that. There we go. One more hit should do it. Actually, maybe two more. The reason why I didn't want to go for the harder route is because... I think the bosses are just overall harder in that route. I think that's literally the reason why it's, it's generally... Wow, how did you grab me? I got out of the way in time. I think twin, I, should, I think Fire Lion is just cheating. I burning. Is burning going to even be good for this? I hope. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because we actually have to, we have to end the level. Is there anything up here? No, there isn't. Okay. We're finally done with that one. Could, mm, didn't exactly uh, like that. But okay. Isn't there a Sydney secret here or something? I'm gonna get sword because I like sword. Okay, perfect. Now we can enough the level in style. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be. Yeah, no. I had a feeling. I had such a freaking feeling. I had such a feeling. All right. Luckily, there won't be a secret switch for a little bit. I think until like the last regular level. Or last level, the last regular stage of uh, of Rainbow Resort, which is pretty stinking nice. There's so many sleep guys here, and just the, the one sword guy. Oh, I hate this part so much. I hate this part so much. Bronto birds do not leave you alone. They are thirsty for you, and I hate that. Bronto birds like suck too. Like, cappies are definitely worse, but Bronto birds are still really freaking bad. Yo, chill out! You have to be so thirsty, jeepers. <laughs> I don't like how thirsty they- Oh, yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about. Just burst for everyone, even the Bronto birds. Had to slide into my DMs, and I don't appreciate it. Let's go through. Oh, still have it. Very nice. Hey, one-up time. All right. Cause yeah, this is gonna be a triple hit. Okay. Um, is it even worth it? It's worth it to get the one up, and that is apparently the end of the level. <laughs> I lost sword at the very end, but honestly, the end of the level is right there. I might as well just go through, not waste any more time. All right, let's see, level, or, or sorry, stage four. I wonder what this one's gonna be. Oh, you know what, I'll show off ball. It's a very interesting one. Yeah. This, this is ball. Not much to it, as you can see. I'm pretty sure I'm invincible, though. Never mind. But okay, I kind of, I, I've kind of been crapping on Ball this entire, uh, this entire series. But Ball ain't all that bad. Ball is kind of fun. <laughs> ball is life. <laughs> That's exactly. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess no more Ball for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, and these guys, great. Just what just what I want to deal with. Yeah, you just get out of here. I think you're just gonna be a, a bunch of rooms with a, like a bunch of enemies. Yep. Even Bronto Birds, my favorite. America's pastime, Bronto Birds. They've been here since 1776. All right, burning, let's go. I'll take it. It ain't hammer. Ah, don't die, don't die. Don't freaking nutsacks. Okay, that's fantastic. Too much, too much start lag. Too much start lag of burning. That's the problem with it. Not, not viable in competitive play. <laughs> not viable at all. All right, I finally added there. Um, I'm gonna take Spark. So now I'm gonna have a much better time with Spark. I like Spark a lot. Spark's honestly been like, for like the longest time, Spark's probably been like one of my favorite Kirby power-ups. It's so good. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's so nice. Probably because like it's it has so much it's so use oh can I a just snuck in there very cool it just there's so many useful um things to spark spark is just amazing I love it it's probably because it's the most practical and like one of the most practical and most fun um uh copy abilities to actually use that's probably the that's probably the biggest reason why that's what I feel as at least. And of course the heater's turning on. <laughs> if anyone's been uh, on the channel for a while, you already know I kind of have like a bit of a, um, you know, a bit of a, a rivalry of this heater uh, that's in my room. Um, it's not, 
now it's just a thing of like it turning on that like makes it really stupid and annoying that's like when it's you know that's when it's like the loudest it used to be like when it was on but now it's like when it's turning on and that's like probably even worse because it's it's even i think it's even louder than it was that's that's the problem you know what you die thank you perfect you know what it's it's the heater i'll try to talk over it as best i can it's gonna be really stupid and, and annoying but I'll, I'll try my best can you just give me a thank you Wow, really? You had to jump. You had to jump. You thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna just jump. I'm not gonna die. Let die. Please. How are you still alive? I hate you so much. Thank you. Freaking die, scumbag. Okay, good. Glad he's dead. Don't want him to live anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not useful. Wheel's not good for this. I'm just gonna say that right now. Wheel's not gonna be good for this. Probably should have gone with something like burning. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna just go, uh, bah, 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 be a young gun and just go for it. Probably a terrible idea. Probably should, I, I should get an ability of some sort. But we're fine. We made it to the end. Uh, laser. I'm gonna need something. Oh, I'm gonna need burning for this. Yes, I remember this. Um, it's not, it's nothing of use per se. But it's kind of nice to just like, you know, get this going. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is actually really- No, you know what? I know exactly what I have to do. I have to get fire. Not burning. That's not what I need. I need fire for this. You have to like, kind of summon it at an angle. Summon it. You have to like, turn it on at an angle. Or at a distance, I should say. Is it- I'm just gonna test it out for now. That doesn't work. About, okay, about the middle. About the middle is where I have to summon it. Or I don't know why I keep saying summon it. Oh, nope, that, that didn't work. Die, you stupid. I didn't know what? Okay. Stop coming back. Nice! Just barely got that <gasps> The mother load. <laughs> the mother load. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. That was like, what, five one-ups? Yo! Appreciate a game. See, many people think it's not worth doing that, but I, I'd say so. Five one ups? Very stinking nice. Very stinking nice. Alright, let's uh let's do it. Uh the final regular level of the game. I love this. This is amazing. I every Kirby game usually has some like reference to the very first game, which is kinda nice. It's I mean, it's kind of like a trend at this point, but it's a nice trend, you know? It's a really good trend. Probably one of the, like, greatest Kirby trends, if you ask me. Like, the fact that they're just, they're just like, hey, y'all remember the first game? Well, we do too. Now you have to deal with it in every single game <laughs> from now on. But hey, you know what? I ain't complaining, because I actually like this a lot. Oh, my freaking gosh. Bronze or Birds. Sons of Guns really want to ruin my life even more. Okay. I, I mean, I appreciate the, uh, you know... What's it called? There's a word I'm looking for. The try, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably a bet much better word than try, but... I appreciate the gesture. You know what? Yeah, let's let's be nice about it. I appreciate the gesture. And I'm pretty sure that there's not a single uh, enemy in this, in this level that you can actually copy an ability from. Because in the first game, you cannot, you know, copy abilities. So, it's kind of a nice little reference. Yes, it does kind of suck, <laughs> to be fair, um, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's a really, really nice nod to the first game. And the first game was, like, so influential, too. Like, just, well, to the Kirby series only, but still, it was a, it was a fantastic game. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out my mini let's, my mini let's play on uh, Kirby's Dream Land, highly suggest you do. Really fun. It was only, like, what, two episodes, because it was such a short game. Um, but it was still enjoyable. Now, don't worry guys, I have not missed- <laughs> If anyone's wondering, I have not actually missed the, uh, what's it freaking called? Um, the secret switch. It's actually coming up. I'll just get Parasol. Why not? Let's go up here. Or maybe Cutter. I haven't done Cutter, like, since, like, the first episode or something. What you gotta do is fly up here, enter the moon. Yeah, and then just fall. Fall all the way down, and there's the final switch to the game. Very stinking nice. 
And get, the, get that M tomato, get a one up. Oh, so close to the magic number. I'm so close. Can I get a one here, please? Let's freaking go. The magic number, boys. The magic number. It's actually a nice way to end it off, huh? There we go. 69. All right. And there's the boss. This boss is actually... People say it's the final boss of the game, but uh, mm, is it though? We'll see. It's gonna be King DDD fighting him on Fountain of Dreams. Actually, Cutter's probably gonna be really good for this. Like I'm thinking about it, Cutter is really good. I kind of give, I kind of, you know, don't give Cutter the, you know, the praise it, it deserves. But honestly, Cutter's good. Die, die. I had him. I had him. There we go. How is he not dead? There we go. Dang, first try. Very nice. Of that, Diddy's down. Pretty easy boss. But level 8, the Fountain of Dreams. It ain't over just yet. It ain't over just yet. Diddy's trying his absolute hardest to, you know, stop Kirby from going. He's like, no, Kirby. What are you doing? Wow, just smacked him away. And there we have it. <laughs> Kirby just killed everyone. <laughs> So this is the Fountain of Dreams. The Star Rod plays a pretty big part in the Fountain of Dreams, in the um in the lore, I guess, uh, of um, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland or Kirby's Adventure. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Nightmare or Nightmare Orb. Let's say that it's Nightmare Orb. It's um it's the first part of the final boss of the game, and yeah, but yeah, level eight is not an actual like level level. It's just like a boss, and that's about it. This is a really fun boss, though. I like this a lot. It is ch challenging, definitely, but it's so good. So all you, all you have to, really have to do is just like shoot the star rod consistently at him, and then you'll be set. He's gonna do his little dash. Probably should have gone out of the way of that. That'll be that would have been smart. And with that, come on, he's almost dead. There we go. Nightmare has Nightmare War has been defeated. Let's go on and fight the true form of the nightmare orb this guy one uh of the most uh, iconic i guess kirby final bosses yes this is the final boss of the game guys it's crazy we're already here now this is a uh, is something to say the least this is the final boss of kirby nightmare in dreamland nightmare um, pretty cool boss, if you ask me. I definitely think his design looks much better in this game than it does in, uh, Adventure. But it's kind of me to it. That's kind of, you know, you should kind of expect that. I mean, it's a remake. Remakes usually have much better graphics just overall than the original game. That was stupid of me. I can't hit him there. Ooh, we're chilling, we're chilling. I have one hit point and I kind of don't want to die. Oh, can I not even... Okay, hit him there, perfect. Oh, just a few more hits and he's dead. I don't like this. I did not like that at all. Ooh, don't die. There we go! Whew. I think one hit's gonna take care of him too. <laughs> stay away, stay away. Monster. I did not jump into... No! No! Can I just start from- Oh, thank goodness I can start from him. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna have to fight Nightmare Orb again. I was like, no, I don't want this. Okay. It, it is kind of annoying that I died on the final boss of the game. But honestly, it was bound to happen. I took so much damage from Nightmare Orb. It was kind of insane. It kind of put me at a very bad place. Can't really do anything, can I? Actually, can I? Yeah, I can still hit him there. Perfect. Alright, sadly can't enough magic number of lives, but you know what? It's alright. We'll just kill him. Come on. Ah! Oh, I almost hit him there too. Oh, come on. Hey! One more hit you do it. One more hit you do it. Stop it. Eh! There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated the final boss of the game. And he has a very... Dramatic... Death. Let's do that death sequence, I guess. 
Very nice. Why? Hey, normal, 100% complete. Now you can choose extra from the start game menu. Very, very nice. And then with that, we just destroyed a whole, like, chunk of the moon. As Kirby does, as Kirby does, you know what happens? Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. But King DDD didn't mean any harm. For once, King DDD was not actually the bad guy, unlike in the first game. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmares rode the currents at the Fountain of Dreams. Wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. When King Dedede hid the Star Rod, the power source of the Fountain of Dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Borrowing King Dedede's power, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. Now that the Star Rod is returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. So fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Very cool. And with this... Baskets, Kirby. Very nice. The Fan of Dreams has been restored to its proper form. With the Star Rod in place, with Nightmare finally being gone. Now just good dreams for everyone. Very cool. Kirby wishes us goodbye. Thank you, Kirby. And here we have it, the credits of the game. The staff credits. Dang, a Mopsy Sakurai to chat himself. Um, I think it's gonna show like all the bosses of the game too, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, at least is it though? Well, who's the next boss? The next boss was level two. Oh yeah, it will. Awesome, I like that. Needle. But you know what? I never showed off Needle. Did I? Needle and I think there was like one ability I didn't show off yet. Gosh, what was that ability? I showed off Ball like a like in I think in this episode. It's probably something I didn't show off, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I showed off all the all the great abilities. I basically showed off every ability. I don't think there's anything I really miss that's too important. Also, yeah, that's kind of um, you kind of see a little more of uh, Mr. Brian, Mr. Shine's move sets, um, you know, if you don't defeat him, <laughs> if you don't defeat them as fast as I did, um, but still. Defeating the fast is honestly probably just a better idea, so that don't have to worry about the bull crap. Anyways, Nightmare in Dreamland, really fun game. I definitely enjoy this quite a bit. Now, you are probably wondering one thing. Why isn't this the finale? Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, obviously this extra mode has been unlocked. I'm not gonna do it on screen because there's honestly no point. There's, the only difference between regular mode and did, why do you get sleep? That was such a dumb idea. The only difference between regular mode and or the main game and extra mode is that extra mode, I think it's just a thing of like you get less hit points and that's about it. It's just harder because you get less hit points. I'm pretty sure that's literally the only difference. Maybe the enemy spawn rate's a little different and like the enemy difficulty's different, but like all I know is you get less uh, hit points which does make it overall pretty sinking difficult. More difficult than you would imagine. Fighter? Oh, never mind. I thought that was fighter. That's, that's just throw. Or maybe it's backdrop. No, it's backdrop, because throw has a blue bandana. Yeah. Um, but the end. You can now play a new sub-game, Boss Endurance. Very stinking nice. So with that, um, I think I'm gonna just end it off. After, okay, as I was mentioning before, actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do off screen, because after you unlock, after you finish up extra game, where I, also Hero of Lore, very nice. After you finish up extra game, you unlock another thing, it, it's like a Meta Knight sub game. A Meta Knight, yeah, no, yeah, Meta Knight sub game. And it's really cool, and I definitely wanna show that off and just play through it, so I'm gonna do that. In the next episode, thank you so much for watching, by the way. In the next episode, we will be going back into Nightmare in Dreamland, and we're gonna play through the entire game as Mana Knight. That's kind of the, the, the gist of it. It's gonna be much shorter, obviously. It's not gonna take nearly as long as, you know, if you were to combine all, all what, seven of these episodes, it will not take nearly as long as that. So, 
but it might be a little bit of a longer episode. So stay tuned, grab some popcorn when it happens, grab a nice drink, snack up, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be doing Meta Nightmare when uh, when I when obviously when I da when that gets unlocked. So with that, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, social media, including Twitter, of course, down below in the description. Um, one thing I want to say before we end this off. Nightmare Orb, for some reason, was more difficult than Nightmare himself. Why? Beats me. I think because Nightmare Orb revolves more around dodging his attacks, dodging more attacks than, you know, Nightmare. So that's probably the reason why. If you don't, like, jump into Nightmare himself, then he's basically not going to do any damage to you. You're basically set the entire time. Nightmare Orb, however, you have to like move around and dodge his attacks. So it is definitely, it's genuinely a little more difficult than Nightmare himself. Which is very strange. Doesn't make much sense, but hey, it is what it is. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Pop Tarch, out.